Howdy again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and this temporary video is just for the fun of it. The purpose is to expose fraud and scam, deceit, lies, and all of the usual stuff here. So I'm sitting out in the yard here of my uh, next door neighbor, who happens to be my son-in-law, and this beautiful black craftsman mower was running perfectly the other day, and of course until he hit a stump. And the damage to the machine and the lies and deceit, which I will disclose here momentarily, is part of the video. So let's check this out. It'll be a short one, don't worry. Stick with me. So what we have here is a Sears Craftsman 24 horsepower mower. And it's a pretty darn good mower, really, with a Briggs engine. But when my son-in-law hit the stump, Several things happened, and it wasn't in his yard. He was doing a favor for a man by cutting his yard <laughs> until he hit the stump. But when he hit the stump, three things happened. Well, it just quit, but it bent the blade, and you won't be able to tell too much here by that. And it uh, damaged, this is the new spindle. It just came in today. It damaged the uh, spline right where my little finger is here. And, well, see, it did, oh, and it, it ruined the pulley. There was a spline in here, so it removed, it ruined this spline, the female spline, and the male sl spline. So he, he had to get new blades, a new spindle, and the pulley will arrive tomorrow. I think he got most of this stuff from Scamazon. So it, it'll be an easy job to put it back together. But I want to talk about the spindle that was damaged. So let's go on in Studio B for a laugh. Okay, we're back indoors so we can discuss this intelligently. So here's a new pair of blades and the new spindle. And the new pulley, as I said, will be here tomorrow. But notice how the spline is totally stripped out. And we, we need a spline that... You know, it would fit on here, but this this will just spin free. So it, it ruined all, all those parts in one fell swoop. But before I get into this spindle and expose the fraud, uh, this reminds me of a movie I saw called Sling Blade. Now, have you seen it? I think it was 1996, and it starred Billy Bob Thornton and Dwight Yoakam, who was quite a... Uh, a menacing man, but it's a wonderful movie. A, a bit, uh, it's a tearjerker, but and it's a, it's almost a horror movie as well. So watch Sling Blade. You will not be disappointed, but it's not for children. Okay, now finally to the f fraud here. Now every spindle, <clears throat> probably regardless of the brand of the mower, these are kind of uni universal too, I believe. But anyway. Uh, for your convenience, there's a grease zerk on the end so you can grease the bearings. What a wonderful thing that is, and they're quite thoughtful, aren't they, that, to go through that effort and extra expense for you. So, you know, my, uh, my hand's off to them. Not! Now, I had been told by people over the years that these don't work, you won't get any grease in there where you actually need it. And, uh, and I believed that because sometimes I used to uh, pump grease into my scrub cadet and it seemed like I could pump and pump, I'm putting a pint of grease in there. And finally I give up because the grease never does back out, so I just give up. Thinking, boy, that took a lot of grease, that must have really been dry. But to expose the fraud, I took the liberty of sawing this in half on the bandsaw and now comes the fun that you've been waiting for. So here is the spindle shaft, part of it. By the way, that's totally stripped off too, as I told you. It's a better view of it though, isn't it? So if you pump grease into here, there's a hole, but the hole only goes as far as this cross hole here. So pump your grease in and it comes out right here. To what purpose? I'm going to put the, I know I'm putting this on upside down. But if you pump grease in here, it's all coming out, and ultimately you will fill this entire cavity with grease that will do absolutely nothing. Well, Mr. Peach, just put a pint in there, and eventually it will reach the bearings. No, it won't, and I'll tell you why. I'm on a rant here. 
I'm not scolding you. I'm scolding the liars. But who cares, says you. These are sealed bearings. Can you see that? There's a rubber seal. Now you can buy bearings with, without seals. You can get them with shields. Now shields are metal. Seals are rubber, or whatever that material is, probably plastic. So, uh, or you can buy it with a shield on one side and nothing on the other. You know, you can get all variation. So if they had done this correctly, they would have installed bearings that had a, sh a seal on the outside, like you see here, and then on the inside, there should be no seal or shield. So that you could see the balls. If you looked in there, you would see the balls. But no, they put the wrong ones in. Now a fella could take this brand new one apart with a pick and pull that rubber seal out. I think I'll, I'll do that on this side. Otherwise I've got to knock the bearing out and I'm not in the mood. So I'm going to take the ice pick. There. Oh, that took longer. So that's what you should be seeing on the inside because then the grease could get right into uh, the balls where they belong. And yet, there is plenty of grease in here because actually this spindle here, the bad one, is really only about two years old. But if you don't get grease to these bearings sooner or later, they will fail when all of this grease is gone. Now when they manufactured this shaft, before they put the zerk in, that's quite a long, deep hole to drill. That's expensive to do that. And then the cross hole, that's another operation. And then they had to tap this in and put in a 25 cent zerk. So they did go to some expense and effort, and, but they were lying to you. They are lying, cheating, deceitful, bad men, whoever did that. I can't say enough, uh, never mind. Maybe they worked for the government. At any rate, that Sears Craftsman mower will be repaired and running on the morrow. I just wanted to expose the, the, the fraud here. And I hope you got a kick out of it and a laugh because it's so wicked that it's, it's funny that they would do something so foolish that was relatively expensive to do, actually. But I think that 99% of the people wouldn't know this, or if they did, they wouldn't care. They just run it until it quits and put it, on, put it out in the curb and go to the depot and buy a new mower. Well, enough on that rant. This is Mr. Pete saying so long for now. Now, if you're new to this channel here, I have 15 or 1800 machine shop and uh, general shop videos on YouTube. And I have been on since 2006, 18 years. So check out some of my videos if you don't know who I am or what I'm all about. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this, give me a thumbs up, and it would help me even more to leave a comment. And in the comment, just say something like, you're right, they are bad. Or, if you disagree with me, say, no, no, these are, this is an honorable company that's doing a good job that cares about you. <laughs> so long for now.